left, right, left. Left, left, right, left. Carl, left. what are you doing? Well, I'm trying to imagine what it must be like to be a soldier fighting for your country. Oh, I don't think even our imaginations could think of all the sacrifices those soldiers made for us. I think it's cool that we have a day to celebrate everything they've done. It is, and it's very important for us to remember the people who helped build the country we live in. I read about some of the hard times they had, Miss Charity. They must have really cared about this country. I'm sure they did. And most of all, they must have cared for the people who were living at that time and the people who would live later on. They were people of vision. Huh? Vision, Carl. It means they looked into the future and they were willing to do whatever was necessary to make our future a safe place for us to live. Wow. I hope I can be a man of vision. I am sure you can. That's what a Christian is, you know. We're people who look towards the future, and the future we look towards is heaven. <laughs> wow, you say some neat things, Miss Charity. Aww. You say some dumb stuff sometimes, too. <laughs> well, that is true. Boys and girls, are you people of vision? Why don't you stay tuned for today's program, and you can learn about other people of vision and what they did to help build our country. Happy Canada Day. Let's get all our friends, cause it's that time again. It's time to head on down to Miss Charity's Diner. Dusty's gonna come along, and we'll see Farmer Shalom. It's time to have some fun. Miss Charity's Diner Take Constable Howie by the hand Sulin, Josiah, Mr. Dan Another special day is coming our way at Miss Charity's Diner Mr. Rainey's got a story for you Mr. Bookworm's gonna be there too More things to learn, more things to do at Miss Charity's Diner Carl's got his apron on Mr. Marty's singing a song Everybody come on Charity's Diner. Come on, let the fun begin. Cause it's the time again. Happy day with all our friends at Miss Charity's Diner. Nothing could be finer than to spend some time at Miss Charity's Diner. Okay, so if I take 21, Highway 21 over to 20, no, number 8, and then number 8 to Hope Park. Are you going then, somewhere, Miss Charity? Yes, I'm going to visit my cousin Shirley. She's having a huge Canada Day celebration. Neat. Mm-hmm. It's going to be so much fun. There's going to be hamburgers, hot dogs, all kinds of other food, and later on we're even going to do some fireworks. Sounds like fun. It is fun. It's especially nice seeing all the relatives I haven't seen in a long time. Mm -hmm. Where do your cousins live, Miss Charity? Oh, she lives in this gorgeous house on the top of a hill overlooking Lake Courage. It's just beautiful there. If I could live anywhere, I'd like to live in Hollywood. Hollywood? Why Hollywood? So I can meet all the movie stars. Oh. Not me. I'd like to live in Anaheim, California. Okay, and why Anaheim? So I could go to Disneyland anytime I wanted. No. Not me. I like it right where I am. You do? Yep. Well, good for you, Bo. It's nice to have some patriotism here. Yeah, my dad just put in a new in-ground pool, and I don't want to ever move. Oh, now I see. Well, you guys can have your Hollywood and your Disneyland and your pool. I'm going to take my diner anytime. I just love it here. Would you ever want to live anywhere else, Miss Charity? Well, if I felt that God was telling me to move, I guess I would move. But for right now, I'm going to stay right where I am, enjoy my country, and fly where God has given me wings. Fly where God's given you wings? What's that supposed to mean? It means that right now, I am right where God wants me to be. So I'm going to do my very best for him right here in my little diner. Well, your diner is pretty cool, Miss Charity. And Faithful is a pretty cool town, too is so neat of a town in a really neat country. Canada cool? The coolest. Uh, I think Canada's boring. Canada's boring? How could you think that, Bo? 
Hmm, Canada's not boring. Look, we have provinces going from one ocean all the way to the other. Canada is the largest country in all of North America. We have mountain ranges, rivers, lakes. We even have islands. It is an awesome, awesome place to be. Well, I guess Canada is pretty cool, Miss Charity. The coolest. Snow included. <laughs> but I'd still like to go to Hollywood. You do? Just for a visit. Oh, okay. Oh. Mm. Okay. Well, this is where I'm going, you guys. T Highway 21, and then it catches then, on to um, Highway 8. And when you drive over here, here, just about 15 minutes away from my cousin's house, there's a You're nice, eh? You like them? Oh, I hope you do. Are you responsible for all the flags on my yard, too? Yeah, it sure was. Do you like it, huh? Do you? I gotta tell you, it certainly is interesting, Dusty. Uh, you, you got a flair for decorating. <laughs> but what are you celebrating? Uh, it's not a curling rink. It's Canada Day! Okay. Uh, I get it. <laughs> It's my way of being patriotic. Uh, I see, uh huh? Did you know Farmer Tom's son was visiting uh, uh, with me today? You know, you did mention that. Uh, did you have a nice visit? Sure did. You know, he, he's in the army, right? Yeah. A and well, he told me today that he received orders to go over the seas with his company. Huh. Wow. You know, he seems so young. Yeah. But he told me it was patriotic duty to go fight for our country. Oh, now I'm starting to get it. Yeah. Ah, so I wanted to be patriotic too. I can't fight, but, you know, I can support my friends. You know, that's nice, Dusty. That's really nice. Good. And I'm gonna mess them too, I told him. I, I told him I pray for him every day. He's been a soldier in God's army. He's been fighting for what's right and for what he believes in his whole life. Oh, how true. And, and you can see he's in the best army to be in, eh? You know, he's, he'd be a good soldier in both armies. Ah, oh, he sure will be. Now, about these flags. Yeah, they're nice, aren't they? Uh, yeah. Y you think maybe we could get rid of the big ones? I mean, let's just leave the little ones out in the front yard. What do you say? Oh, I, I think they look lovely. I, I, I thought they'd show how proud we were to be part of this lovely land. No mistake in our patriotism, Dusty, but that's a lot of flags. Oh, I guess. D does that mean the one on top of the barn's gonna go? What? Oh, Dusty, come on! Look at the size of that thing! It's not a thing, it's a flag. <laughs> I got oh, a hat for you. Wanna wear the hat? This thing over here? Well, I don't know. You gonna get rid of the big flag on the barn? I'll wear it all day. In church? Saturday. Saturday ain't church. I know, that's why I said I'm gonna wear it today. Oh, hey, it looks good there, Mr. Lincoln. You like that? Yeah. Oh, okay. Hi, my name is Abby. I've come down here to Miss Charity Diner to tell you about Miss Charity's Kids Club website. When you remember, it's really awesome. You can email any of the characters like Miss Charity, Mr. Stan, and even Josiah and Sule. When you go to the website, you will see all of Miss Charity Diner's episodes for life. You could even get a birthday card from Miss Charity when it's your birthday. There are whole sorts of neat things to do at Miss Charity Diner's Kids Club website. And all you have to do is go to www.facebook.com and make sure it's okay with your mom or dad and tell them Abby sent you. Remember the website is www.facebook.com. Are you going to 
the celebration today? Oh, I certainly am. I think it's so important to stand with your country and to celebrate its freedoms. Well, I can't wait. There's supposed to be marching bands, ice cream, puppet theater. And hey, maybe Zolio the Clown will be there too. Oh, right. You are one excited worm. <laughs> well, is that so bad? Oh, gracious, no! But you know, it does remind me of a little boy who wasn't very excited about celebrating his country. Not excited about celebrating your country? Well, who was that? Well, Gordy, would, would you like to hear that story? Well, I certainly would. Girls and boys at home, would you like to hear that story too? Okay. Boys, come on, get a move on. We don't want to be late for the parade, and I know how you don't like to be at the back when there's a marching band going by. Okay, Dad, we'll be right down, said Chuck. I'm just putting on my socks. Well, Chucky ran downstairs and told his dad, I might be ready, but lazy old Gord, he's still laying in his bed underneath the covers. Dad, does that mean that we have to be late and we're going to be at the back of the crowd to see the parade? <laughs> no, said his dad. You and your mom go on ahead, and I'll get Gord. We'll be along. You save us good seats, okay? Well, Chuck and his mom left with blankets and picnic baskets. I mean, you know Chuck, right? He's going to think that the most important thing is the picnic basket. Well, Gord's dad went upstairs. Okay, Gord, said his dad as he sat on the edge of Gord's bed. What's going on? I figured you'd be the first one up and ready to go to the parade to celebrate our country's freedoms. Oh, come on, Dad, said Gord. <laughs> I mean, it's going to be the same dumb old parade as last year. And besides, my favorite show was on TV this morning. And, you know, I want to see what's going to happen next. Just leave me home. I'm old enough. Well, yes, you are getting older, Gord's dad said. But I don't think you're ever too old to celebrate the freedoms of your country. I mean, a lot of people made some pretty big sacrifices for the freedoms that we have. <laughs> yeah, freedoms, said Gord. Like having to go to school, having to clean my room, having to brush my teeth, having to take out the garbage, freedoms. Well, wait a minute, said his dad. First of all, you get to choose the school that you want to go to. Second, in this nice house, you have a lot of wonderful things. And Gord, did you know that there's some countries where if you don't have enough money and you're sick, you can't even get a doctor to see you? Oh, right said Gord. And we've forgotten the most important freedom of all, said his dad. What's that? asked Gord. The freedom to be able to worship God freely. You know, there are some countries where there's like a boss of the country that actually tells the people that they cannot worship God. Wow, said Gord. You know, I remember one week in Sunday school, Mrs. Tipping talked to us about that, that there were kids in places in the world that couldn't even pray to God if they wanted to. That's right, said Gord's dad. Hang on, said Gord. I'm going to get my clothes on. And he jumped out of bed. <laughs> What's this quick change of mind, said his dad. Well, Dad, I was just remembering about all the blessings of this country. And if you think changing my mind was fast, just wait till you see how fast I can change my clothes. Hey, and Dad, one more thing. If I was the boss of my own country, if I owned a country someday, I would not discourage people from worshiping God. In fact, I would like, I would want them to do that. Well, that's good to know, said Gord's dad, you know, in case someday you actually own your own country. Oh, and there is one more thing, said Gord. In my country, I'm going to send the adults to school and the kids are going to stay home. <laughs> well, Gord and his dad got ready and they walked off together to that parade, considering how blessed their country was and how grateful they were to live there. <laughs> so Gordy just didn't understand what celebrating your country was all about. Did he, Mr. Anium? No, he didn't. And there are a lot of people who forget that, too. You know, no country is perfect, but God is perfect. And we really need to be grateful for where he puts us. I'm sure glad God put me in your garden, Mr. Anium. You know, he must have known that I needed a friend just like you. I believe that God knew that we needed each other, Mr. Bookworm. <laughs> I'm sure he did. Mm -hmm. Tired of this now.
Let's take a break. Another break? Yeah. Uh, we gotta get this done. We've done so much already. Wow. Yeah, I know. I really like your hat. Look at this place. Look at these flags. Boy, you guys did a really good job making Miss Charity's Diner look really great. Oh, thanks, Mr. Stan. Yeah, Miss Charity said she wanted everyone who came to her diner today to know how much she loves Canada. Well, Miss Charity's right. It's really important that we remember how blessed we are to live where we do. Well, I think everyone in the whole world should live in Canada. Because it's the greatest. Well, now, hang on a minute. I mean, God put us here in Canada because that's where he wants us to be. But people who are born in other countries, well, God put them there because that's where he wants them to be. And remember, they're just as proud of their country as we are of ours. You mean God wanted me to live in Canada? Well, sure he did. Well, oh. I have a cousin who lives in the United States and she thinks her country's the greatest. Well, that's okay, you know. I mean, she was born in the United States, so obviously that's where God wants her to be for now. Mr. Stan, did you know that some people, they don't even celebrate Canada Day? Isn't that wrong? Hmm. I think maybe it's kind of sad. But I've heard some people say really bad things about Canada. Well... Think about this. You and Josiah are really good friends, right? Right. Well, sometimes there's things about each other that you don't always like. Oh, you mean like when Josiah's a big sloppy pants? Hey! Listen here, Miss Barbie. Miss Pris. How old it, you two? We're talking about Canada here, you know. Oh, yeah. And just like friends, you know, we don't always agree with each other. But that doesn't mean we don't care about each other. You know, I can remember when I was your age, every day when we got to school, we would stand up and sing Old Canada. Huh. Oh, every day? How come? Holy, that must have been boring. Oh, no, not at all. It was good to remind us each and every day how blessed we are to live where we do. Huh. I better get going. I got a lot of stuff to unload, and I don't want to be working late today, because I don't want to miss the Canada Parade. Oh! Canada Day Parade. I want to go to that. Yeah, me too. Hey, I'm proud to be a Canadian. So am I, except for this hat. It's really floppy. Can you fix it? Well... Hey, Brandon, yeah. do you want to come over after school tomorrow so we can work on our Canada Day project? Yeah, sure. All right, I'll ask my mom if you can sleep over, and then we can use the internet. Oh, wow, that sounds like a great idea. Oh, boys, did I hear you say something about the internet? Yep, uh, Brandon's coming over tomorrow, and... And his mom's going to let us go on the internet. Internet, eh? Say, Bo, does your mom monitor the internet use in your home? Sure does. Well, you know, I'm really glad to hear that because even though the Internet is an excellent source of obtaining information, there are a lot of very weird people out there in cyberspace who desperately wants to influence young boys like you in their computer use. But Constable Howie, we're just looking up stuff about Canada Day and Patriot... Patri patriotism. Yeah, patriotism. Constable Howie, what does patriotism mean? Patriotism means that you have a very deep love for your country. All right. I have an idea how we can show patriotism. We'll make a collage with pictures and stories about Canada. Oh, now I have an idea. We can interview people. All right. Then we can take their picture and stick it on the collage next to their comments. Constable Howie, is it all right if we interview you? Right now? Yeah, sure. Bo, you ask him the questions, and I'll write down his answers on this piece of paper. All right. Constable Howie, are you patriotic? You better believe I am. So, what do you like, or what do you like about living in this country? 
Well, I feel very blessed that we live in a nation where we can have freedom of religion, where we can praise and worship Jesus anywhere, anytime we want to. That's an awesome answer, Constable Howie. We'll be back to take your picture later. Okay, just hang on a minute. Where's she going? I don't know. Now you're ready for us to take your picture. Thank God that we live in a nation like Canada. Red, yellow, and blue. These awesome colors the Lord made for you. For purple, orange, and green. Got the color in everything. What a gloomy place this would be If black was the only thing you could see Black blue jays, black white sneakers And big black yellow bananas Black bananas Got me bugs to feed the birds Tall grass to feed the herd Slimy worms to feed the fish The hoppity frogs he gave the flies Thank you, God, for burgers and fries. Red, yellow, and blue. These awesome colors the Lord made for you. For purple, orange, and green. Got the color in everything. Red, yellow, and blue. These awesome colors the Lord made for you. Purple, orange, and green. Got the color in everything. What a gloomy place this would be. Black was the only thing you could see. Black, blue jays, black, white sneakers, and big black, yellow banana. Black bananas. Oh, I'm not hungry. Got me bugs to feed the birds. Tall grass to feed the words, slimy worms to feed the fish, to the hot potato. Hello, my name is Tom Collins, producer of Faithville and Miss Charity's Diner. We're hearing from you that you're learning and enjoying our programs, and that's wonderful. You can learn more about us at our website. We're a worldwide nonprofit media ministry that depends upon your prayers and support. We need your donations to continue our good work, and your donation is tax deductible. You can go online to make your donation on our website at faithville.com now. Or you can mail your check payable to Faithville, Box 7, Maidstone, Ontario, Canada, N. 0R1K0 or box 441665 Detroit, Michigan, USA 48244. Or you can call to donate by credit card to Faithville at 1 888 450 1111. Thank you for helping Faithville and Miss Charity's Diner bring the good news of Jesus to children in your community and around the world. So I heard you're going to be the Canada Day Princess. Uh-huh. Uh, what's that word on your hat? It's the word that sets us apart from everybody. It's a Canadian phrase, eh? Well, what's that mean, eh? Well, I don't know, eh? I think you're too young to know that stuff. Ah. Just my dad thought it was cool. Ah. Don't you, eh? So, you guys all done making the flags? Ah. Uh. You kind of look like you're up to something, maybe. Oh, yeah, and we have a big surprise for you, Mr. Stan. You're gonna love it. Oh, really? Well, I love surprises. Just to show you that we're grateful for you and where we live, we practice something for you. Ready when you are. All right. Are you ready, Josiah? Yeah, I'm ready. <coughs> me, 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 me. Oh, here we go. And away. Two, three. Oh, Canada, our homeland, native land. You're singing too low. True patriot love. Oh, the bars don't come me. I can't 
doesn't work like this, Josiah. Do it like we practice What, do it. you belong to a union? Well, come on now, eh? Aww. With glowing hearts we, we see the rise of a true north, strong and free. From far and wide, old Canada, we stand on guard for thee. Take it away, Sue Lynn. God keep our land. Yeah. Glorious and free. You got it, girl. Oh, Canada, we, we stand on guard for thee. Thank you very much. Well, oh, you're wow. Thank you. I am tired. I think we deserve um a Sunday. Don't you, Josiah yeah. A? <laughs> wow. What else? Okay, Carl, you just about ready to go? I don't want to miss one minute of that parade. I'm all ready. And our picnic is all packed, and I'm dressed, and my flag is raring to go. You look wonderful, Carl, like a true patriot. Uh, what's a patriot? A patriot is someone who will stand up for their country, someone who believes in their own country. So because we celebrate Canada Day, we're both patriots? We certainly are. Hmm. It's kind of like belonging to a special club or something. Hmm. You know, I never really thought of it that way, but you're right, Carl. We belong to the Canada Club. All you need to be a member is to be a Canadian. Mm-hmm. And we have our own song. Hey, yeah, we have O Canada. And we have our own club flag. Oh, we're really blessed to live in Canada, aren't we, Miss Charity? We certainly are, and we're blessed to be just where God has put us. Now, are you ready to go? Sure go. am. Okay, let's go. O Canada. Our home We're going to have a great day today. Land, true patriot love with all our sons command. With glowing hearts we see thee rise. The 